Hey everybody, it's Mike here from Gun Training 101. Today we're going to go over another fundamental. One of the fundamentals, key important fundamentals, trigger press. Proper trigger press or trigger pull. And how to achieve proper trigger pull to engage your target most rapidly and efficiently and effectively. So today I'm going to show you on a laser training pistol that we use all the time with coaching. Um, it's a CERT laser training pistol. Okay, it's no ammunition. It's a weighted mag Glock 17 model. It's just a laser. Pretty simple. Now, as far as proper trigger placement, this is the biggest mistake, the number one mistake that I see with shooters, um, whether it be concealed carry shooters, three gun shooters, uh, any type of competition shooters that are just getting started out and wanting to learn, is proper trigger finger placement. Now. The trigger should be placed between the tip and the first joint. Okay, so that pad right there, that flat spot, is what you're going for to pro properly place your trigger. Uh, lots of times what we see, the most common mistakes that I deal with, let me back this camera up, sorry. Most common mistake that I see um, is too much trigger finger. Okay, now there's different discussion on what that's exactly gonna do. What I've noticed over years of coaching is when a new student places their finger too far in, they're generally, as they're gonna close, pull the shot to the left. Occasionally they'll pull to the right, but the way the hand works is as it closes, it's rotational. So if you have your trigger all the way set in here, as you close your hand, it's rotating, and it's gonna wind up pulling your muzzle a little bit to the left. Uh, that's why I really like this CERT training pistol. We have a single laser and a dual laser, a red-green laser, and it allows me as an instructor to watch a student as they press that trigger I can see their movement and then I can easily make an adjustment now you can achieve the same thing if you were to put a laser on your gun and do dry fire practice and focus put that laser on a specific spot and smoothly and evenly press that trigger back and watch what the laser does and you can see if it moves hey too much trigger finger so the goal we're trying to achieve if you guys can see there is between the tip and the first joint right there. Now the next step is pulling back in an even smooth manner. You do not want to jerk the trigger, you do not want to slap the trigger. Your goal when you pull that trigger is to come evenly and smoothly back until the trigger breaks and it should be a surprise. Okay, it's not going to scare you. The goal is just so shot break, shot break, okay? Even smooth manner. Um, I'll show you guys left-handed now with a full-size gun it's a lot easier we get a lot of concealed carry students that want to shoot an LCP or the LC, Ruger LCR the more small compact semi-autos and revolvers where you have a double action only an extremely long trigger pull it takes a lot more training to get them to keep an even press now with this Glock the trigger travel is minimal it makes it easy but by using those double action only style guns you got a long way to pull that trigger and then you have to let it all the way out to reset so you have to focus on pressing even back this first joint as you press should come straight back okay there shouldn't be any movement right to left it should come straight in and that's what's going to keep you on an even axis um, what i relate to if you think of the game operation when you're a kid that you play you know you got the little dude and he's got body parts and you got to reach in there you know with the little grabbers and grab those and if you touch the sidewall it's going to shock and bzzz, make the noise it's the same concept with the trigger okay the trigger has its well in which it needs to travel evenly and if you're going to pull it right to left and hit the sidewall you're going to make an error it needs to smoothly travel within that same area straight back towards the rear grip of the gun um, the next step that we often see is like i said slapping the trigger a student will come from finger on the side frame, um, come and slap and bring out. Okay, I always teach finger out the trigger. It's your number one safety, finger out the trigger. Once you decide to engage the target though and the finger goes on the trigger, you need to make contact, even press, release and keep contact. Okay, that kind of goes into trigger control slash follow through. You need to follow through and keep contact. If you slap and pull out, or slap and go there you're going to slap and pull your shots down or off to the side you want to keep even smooth pressing as you go um, most like striker fire okay you have that reset where you can actually feel it'll come in 
shot will break slowly let it out you'll hear that click there's your reset come in shot will break once you get into speed style shooting or defensive style shooting where you're doing double taps if your first shot's good and you slap your second shot, it's pretty much pointless. Keep contact, keep contact throughout your shots and nothing should change. And then from there, when you're done um, and you've eliminated your threat or your target, whatever it may be, then your finger can come off the trigger or your scanning or whatever it may be. But in the time of shooting, nothing's gonna change. Grip's gonna stay the same. The trigger finger is what's gonna move, okay? And that's it. And you're going to keep an even, smooth manner all the way back. You can add speed over time, but you have to start slow. you got to walk before you can run. It's the same concept. If you want to be a speed shooter, you got to get the fundamentals slow. Then you add your speed to it later. Listen for the reset. There's the reset. Press. So, no movement. Even out. Reset, press, even out, reset, press, finger off the trigger, okay, shot group, nice and tight, the reason it's tight is even, smooth, press, consistency, consistency, don't slap the trigger, keep it even, keep it smooth, uh, that's pretty much it as far as trigger control goes, proper trigger control, I'm trying to keep it simple for you guys, it's not that difficult. Uh, in a later video, I'm going to talk to you guys about a coaching chart that we use. It's a pie chart, and it's actually a diagram to show you if you have proper grip, hold control, trigger control, and you notice your group's off to a certain direction. It'll tell you, hey, you're too much trigger finger, or you're thumbing, or you're jerking down. That's in a later video. Uh, stay tuned for that one. Once again, you guys, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is Mike from Gun Training 101. Stay tuned for more videos, and hope you have a great day.